So ball scratching. Are you a come around the corner ventriloquist style or are you just right up into the uh, I'm co- asking cookie you, jar? Tell, so what are some of the techniques? Give Pro- one technique that you scratch your balls. You start off with the four finger. Uh, d- uh, d- it's, you know, just two. It's a two pair. You put those together. Okay. Okay. Then you take your thumb and you put it like this. Okay. Interesting. And first you just give a little, we call it the crab smack. Okay? Wait, you really smack your balls? So th- what? It's called the crab smack. Hand there. I'm serious, dude. Okay. I'm not telling you where I learned this from. Tap there, tap there, just to kind of like get On your blood, face or on your balls? Face to get blood circulation going. And then you take it and you go like this, almost like a lady from the 50s at the fucking um, Adam, Adam. horse race. And I she's like, it's so hot. Adam, I'm asking you for real how you yes. scratch your balls. Watch. <laughs> you put it under and then you do like a quick. <laughs> I'm fucking joking with you, man. <laughs> you did it. You, I'm you, not gay. I'm not gay, dude. You did it. I'm not gay. You did it. Dude, you're gay. <laughs> we got you on film, man. Hey, oh, dude, you did the crab smack. Bryce. Bryce. Br- I'll tell you tomorrow. Adam, I, people paid to find out how to scratch their balls. Oh. <laughs> and also, I got to tell you something honestly. I might not be gay, but I am bisexual. Okay. Is that a problem for you? No. You know what bisexual means, right? Yeah. Every time I fuck her, I go, bye. I'm going to go fuck a guy. (laughs) Hey, man, do you, be you, happy holidays. Don't you think, I'm sure it's still difficult, but and I don't know if you or I could speak for the homosexual community in full, but don't you think that now versus like when our parents were younger is is like a safer time to be gay? Probably. Could you speak on that? (laughs) I think the vending machines are getting a little too f- ahead of themselves. There's always one part of the song that sticks with you, whether it's bad or good. Sweet home Alabama. You know, you're talking about the chorus most likely. Yeah. The chorus sticks with you, but yeah. I'm not good with like the lyrics. I, I just like the melody. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like interpersonally. Do you find that the melody is more of a surface, the looks and the energy, whereas the words are the actual content and no. the person. No. How do you really know a song if you don't connect to the poetry of it? Like, I understand it, could, it, it definitely has to the value. Melody of it. Yeah, I absolutely. Mean, but how many times have you listened to a song and you love it and you're dancing, but you have no idea what it's about? All when the you time. finally listen, well, you realize, I was, this is not at all what I was picturing. Oh, there's so many songs that I'm like, I'll actually take a minute to think about what's being said. And I'm like, wow, I just got into the melody. And then I'm like, I did not know that song went, there's too many Jews at the county fair. Do you know, do you know the, the words to this melody? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my only friend. He's lonely, man. But is, when you hear the melody, you think, yeah, friends. It's the city I live in, the city of angels, right? Well, I thought it was Bedrock. Oh, that's Weird Al that's saying it that way. He has a flint song. Barney Rumpel, what a little wiener. Where's Wilma? Anybody seen her? Got a baby elephant vacuum cleaner. Yabba dabba, yabba dabba, dabba do now. Are you serious? No, I just made that up. Wait. That's Weird Al, baby. Okay. Weird Al Bundy. And that's when his hand got stuck. Adam, how did, what did you do in your head to figure out 14 times 5? I took the number 12. And Why I, 12? Or uh, 16, uh, 14. Uh-huh. Took the number 14. I doubled it. I go, it's 28. I, what, I doubled that, 56, and then I added uh, 14, but I should have added 16, 72. No. <laughs> Can I tell you a much easier way? Wait, oh, 4095. Wait a second. It's 70. Can I, <laughs> can I teach you and you, uh, for people, for maybe they already know, but uh, a couple of easy <sighs> ways? That was that was a lot of anxiety, man. Yeah, I get it. Do you? Yes, I do. Well, thank you, but also... That was a lot. I would like f- to explain how to do this, and you could. I would like this. a cheese bagger, but I'm not the prince of Egypt, am I? <laughs> What's fourteen times five? So, if you could find a number that is easy for you to do intuitively, for example, okay, double five is ten. 10. So, what's fourteen times ten? Twenty four hundred. What's fourteen times ten? Four, uh, four, 1,400. Are you being serious? Are you that bad at math? I'm trying to think of it right now. Fourteen times <laughs> ten. Four hundred. Fourteen, and then you add a zero. 140. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 14 times 10 is 140. No, it's not. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Okay. 10 is not very much. I'm fucking <laughs> stoned, man. Okay. And then cut that in half. What's 140 divided by two? 70. Right. I'm high. The other way maybe is a little bit more complicated. I'm high. I'm high. What is the plural I'm form high. of the word deer? I'm high. Deers. It's deers. <laughs> the plural form of deer is deers. <laughs> It's tears. Wipe away your tears. It's not dear. It's tears. Cause when you see a deer in the woods and say, Do you have friends nearby? He goes, Yeah, you mean my tears. It's tears. Wipe away your tears. During World War II, on the day known as D Day, at what location did Allied troops invade Europe? The day after Double D Day, September 15th. Where was it? Uh, Ohio. Look, kids. We all live in a world where there's things that happen and things that don't happen. But as we go, oh, we wait for the show. There's people in this world I have never met Sometimes you go to a Rite Aid or a Target You'll see them hanging out in the food aisle Getting towels after that They're going to the beach to play with the man that brought them there Beach balls And some beers Volleyball And some child tears It's been said It's been said There's only two monkeys In your bed That was the rumor That was the thing That the dad said When he Put in the time Mushu time Find out for yourself Put it in the microwave Pour some milk on it Just once Just once just once, oh, just once, yeah, please. Let me hear the you. You don't know what they want. You don't know what they want. You don't know. You don't know what they want. You don't know what you they want. Do one of the things you do when you talk, like where you go like, oh, be Dr. Phil. I love Dr. Phil. There's only two times a, a year that I'll allow myself to eat the way I really want to. I'll eat a crunch wrap from Del Taco. I'll also go to a place I like to go to in my dreams called Taco Heaven, which is a titty bar in North Dakota, uh, below Canada, but above Tijuana, where I saw my first donkey slash uh, human show, not to be confused with the Truman Show. Um, and look, Horton heard a who, but we don't know where it was. Does that make sense? Yeah. You go pee now. What do I say now? Oh, John Michael, um, maybe in the wide we could have some of it, but I don't think I want the camera on me while I was just eating that. I don't think I want that. Let me hear the you. You're not, you're going to have to treat it like a big taco. Yeah, but it's, look how wet it is. 
buddy. So like, I'm really nervous. I'm real nervous, real nervous. Just, yeah, see what happens when you put it down? <laughs> what do you think? The flavors in there, the texture is a little old, right? Of this shell, I mean. I imagine if it had some of those crunchies in there. So, um, Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Scoot doo, blabbery blue. Scoot D. Oh yeah. <laughs>